Well, Jeff, you're a smart man then, sitting inside by the fire tonight. That is a good move. What's going on? Well, I'd, I'd much rather be in here than out there, Frank. But as you can tell by how I'm dressed, I was out there earlier today and I found some families who felt being in here isn't the right way to celebrate the Super Bowl in Minnesota. You're going to help me get my steps in. Sunday's weather wasn't exactly inviting. Yet here's Rich Shirk. I'm not sure why he came out here today exactly. Getting in his pre-Super Bowl stroll at Clifton French Regional Park. You know, I just thought, what the heck? It's a, it's a lovely afternoon. Not lovely enough to lure kids to a snow-covered sledding hill, given the sub-zero temperatures. I will catch a fish in five minutes. But just the right conditions to lure some fish. Perfect timing. Scott. All right, perfect timing. While taking in the big game. Uh, very comfortable. Yeah, it's 72 degrees. We have satellite TV out here. Inside Scott Sabisky's fish house, where the tradition of watching the Super Bowl on Medicine Lake continued without question this year. Not for Joel Higgins and myself, because we like to fish for our wives. Um, they were a little hesitant about it. As darkness fell, along with the temperature outside, Sabisky's family and friends were well aware that their viewing party is unlike most in America. I have friends that live uh, down south that are still scared to even go on the ice. So when they, they find out that we're actually coming out here to watch the Super Bowl, they can't believe it. So pass on the chips and dip. That one. Woo! Look at that. And drop a line for some potential fish and chips. It's a monster. It, it is very unique, and it's a really a Minnesota thing. And uh, it's something that we really enjoy. Jeff Wagner. What a play. WCCO 4 News. Now, Sabisky joked that we should keep his spot on the lake private because the fish were biting. He actually caught two fish in under 10 minutes, Frank. Good for him. Love his setup, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Yeah, it was pretty cool in there. Warm, I should say. Yeah, good for him. Well, you can start your week uh, and find out just how long this bitter blast will last. Riley O'Connor and the weather reports all morning long starting at 430 on WCCO this morning.